Hey there YouTube, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Today we're going to talk about um, VLOOKUP errors. We had a gentleman, Ronell, who kind of brought that up and I wanted to make a video uh, dedicated to VLOOKUP errors and how to resolve them, particularly when you're using a uh, text string or even if you're using a date or something, how we can overcome some of the, the big time errors that, that pop up. So uh, here we go, well, let's take a look. First of all, we will stop by, let's just do the text VLOOKUPs first. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's just name this range here, we'll name it, um, uh, we'll name it text table, text table, okay. So what we're going to do, typically if you're doing a regular VLOOKUP, you'd say equals VLOOKUP, and let's just look up whatever's in this string, I'll type my name in a moment, look that up in the text table tab. And column two, we only have one, two columns, so we want to see what's in column two, like plumber or girl or something. Column two, comma, zero. And uh, we don't have anything typed here, but we'll type it right now. How about Dan? Oops, let's do Dan. And it brings up plumber. If we did Timmy, it's a kid. And in fact, I could type Timmy without capitalizing the T. And on a worksheet, it would VLOOK up just fine. I think um, if you did that in a VBA, you may have to be more specific with the with the uh, string. It just depends. So anyway, that's how it works on a worksheet. Equals VLOOK up using column two of this table. And zero means an exact match instead of an approximate match. So that's how it works obviously on a worksheet. But if you hit Alt, let's see. So we're going to hit Alt F11 and go into the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11. We're basically just going to pop in a user form, let's see, a user form here. Let's put a text box right here and we'll put a label for whatever it looks up. So let's see here, let's name this one Label LBL um, DESC for description and this will be TB for text box. Uh, my name or TB name is fine. So let's see here. So let's go ahead and double click on the text box because that's whenever that changes, we're going to want the VLOOKUP to happen based on what's on there. So here's how you do this. A lot of times you'd say me dot LBL description equals. Uh, so that's the label. We want the label to equal the application. Dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP using tab several times for the autocomplete and we're going to VLOOKUP whatever me dot the text box me dot TB name look up the name comma and uh, the table that we have is called uh, what did we call that let's see text table okay so let's see this workbook sheets and the sheet is called text vlookup oops text vlookup in quote in parentheses dot range and the range is our named range and that was text table you don't have to capitalize that in and then uh, so that's our that's our range argument three if you hit a comma argument three is which column do you want one or two or three or a gazillion we only have two columns, so the second column and zero for an, a, for an exact and not approximate match. So what it's going to do is, right now, it's going to look up everything I type. So uh, basically, if I open this up and if I typed in D for Dan, it would run and give an error. And so we, don't, you know, what I do to avoid this is I just put on error resume next so it runs every time I type another character but it just runs kind of silently skips over it if there's an error so let's go back to our form so D A F5 D A N so the problem I have with that before I do my next step is that the label is going to stay plumber even if I totally screw the VLOOKUP up it's just going to resume next and keep on going until I type in another one that works. But what I want it to do is if there's no match, it, this to blank out. So that's my next step here. Double click back on, on the text box and let's take a look. 
So I'm going to say, I'm going to trap it. Listen, is the, if there is an error with the VLOOKUP, you can trap that by saying if ERR, if error dot number, so if ERR dot number tab is not equal to zero, that means, look, every time you do anything, you can check the ERR dot number. And all, if there's no errors, it's always zero. So we're saying, listen, if the error number is any error number other than zero, which means there's no errors, then me.lbl description equals blank. And of course, end if. And normally, if the error dot number is zero, then it'll skip over this and not blank it out. So let's try that. Dan, oops, Dan, backspace, in, backspace. Okay, see that? So the error dot number is equal to zero right now, and it's not equal to zero, not equal to zero. Now it is zero, so it won't erase it for me. So that's how I get past that. Now, so, and that, that way you escape the errors by having on error resume next, so it'll allow it to continue. Now, very quickly, I want to show you how to VLOOKUP on dates because that can be very tricky. These are all dates. They have a date value. They have a numerical value, in fact, of, you know, 40,000 something rather. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, well, let me just show you, Alt F11. Let's go into, I've already created this other user form. Basically, the label is, is um, how many views. Uh, let me introduce you to this table really quick. And of course, um, in uh, on a worksheet, it, it's a lot easier. You know, uh, you could just uh, put a date. Let's say 12 27 of 2013. And this table is uh, it's called my table. It's basically uh, a few dates in December and how many just subscribers I got on my channel for each of those days, and how many views I had total for each of those days between all my videos. So let's do a VLOOKUP. Let's let's search for how many views I had on the current day. So equals VLOOKUP tab. We're looking up this date, comma, and the table is called my table. I named it earlier before the video, comma, and we want one, two, three. The third column is views. So let's look up column three, and zero means an, an exact match. So, number of views here. We don't want this in a date format. Let's control shift one. Um, that'll work. I could do control shift tilde. There we go. That's a general view. Control shift tilde, change it to general view. So here's how many views I had that date. If I change it to the 28th, here's how many views I had on that date. Let's check 28, 2813. Yep, so that's right. So that's how easy it is to do on a worksheet, but let's check out some problems that you run into on a user form or VBA. Now I hit Alt F11 uh, to get here. And so this is named TB date, and this label is named LBL view, because I want to see how many views I got on the date that I type in. Let's see here. So double click on the TB date, double click on the text box, you're going to be wanting to do some things. and Right off the bat, it knows I want to do a change event every time there's a change. So, of course, I'm going to start with on error, resume, next. That way, if there's any problem, it will keep on going and not stop the user with a stupid error. Alright, here we go. So we're going to do the same thing. Me.lblView, the label, is going to equal application.worksheetfunction.vlookup. And we're going to look up... Uh, normally you'd look up the the text box, so me.tb date, and you want to put the um, the worksheet in the range in here. So uh, this workbook dot sheets, and the sheet is called dates, and the range is called uh, my table, I think. So uh, that's the that's the uh, the range. And then comma, we want column three. Because remember, there's three columns, and views is column three, comma, zero for an exact match. You could also put false. And if you put one uh, for an approximate instead of an exact match, one, you could also put true. But uh, I always just use zero instead of false. 
Anyway, we're going to run into a couple errors doing it this way, and I'm going to show you how to resolve them. Um, first off, oftentimes, um, well, heck, let's just show you. Let's just trap it right here. I'm going to hit uh, the play button, and let's put 12. Okay, whoops. It's trapped it. So let's put uh, 12 slash 27 slash 2013. While it's still trapped, it's not going to rerun each character I type. It's just trapped right here in time. So the date shifted to, so it's 12, 27, 2013, but do you notice something? It's not really a date because it's considered a text string currently unless we convert it. So you see that it's got quotes around it, uh, and we don't want those quotes there. So we're going to use a conversion occur convert to date, which is C date. So use C date parentheses in parentheses. C date captures that date and see how it's got quotes? Look at the C date version. The converted version has no quotes, it just says equals 12 27 2013. So um, it converts it to a date. Now that's not it's still not gonna let it V look up. So the normally you'd get you'd get an error using the date then you convert it to a date and you're still gonna not get it to work see look the label is blank so what do you have to do this is this is really silly but you have to convert it furthermore to a uh, you have to use convert to a long and a long is a string it's just a it's a number um, every date has an actual value that is a numeric value so we want to convert this so I'll show you here. We're going to use C L N G convert to a long, meaning uh, uh, a a number. So a whole number. So convert to long. We're going to convert it to its serial date. This is date number forty one thousand six hundred and thirty five since January first, nineteen hundred. That's how many days ago that was. That's how they do the, the date. So anyway, uh, convert it to a date, and then furthermore, you convert it to the number, and that's how it's going to look up. It's going to say, "Oh, this is uh, oh, there's date forty one, there's sixty one thousand, blah blah blah." So let's backtrack a little bit. Now that we've converted it to a, a a number, the number of the serial number of the date, and if you look up that on the worksheet, and voila, there is your number of views for that date. And one more fun little thing here is we're going to let's just take the number here me.lbl view let's uh, let's format that equals itself only we'll format it we're going to format me.lbl view comma and let's put a you know a comma in there you know like 3000 comma 055 so i want to put a, a number sign comma number sign number sign zero so there has to be at least a zero at least something in the in the ones column and end quote in parentheses I just want it to have that nice little comma there so I don't need a decimal because you, nobody watches a video point zero one times or whatever so are reconverting it or, or changing it to be that formatting and so, so now let's try that a little bit. I'm going to take off the stop marker, hit F5. Uh, so 12, 28, 2013. There you go. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the very bottom. I'm going to pause that macro here. We're going to say if error.number is not 0, then me.lbl view equals blank and if hit f5 and let's do 12 comma 26 comma 2013 oops 13 and there's your number of views and of course due diligence is you put a little label that says views on this date only if you can type that's even better because apparently I can't type or spell but <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna make this bold no I'm gonna make this bold so let's go over here, double click on font right here. Let's make it size uh, 11 and bold and shrink all this down a little bit. And click here and da da da. And let's try that. 
12, 25, 2013, Christmas Day, 2,375 views on Christmas Day. And then the day after that, got that many views. And uh, uh, really got a boost after Christmas. I guess everybody was too uh, busy eating in Turkey and everything. 29th, 30th. And then if I get the 31st, oops, 31st. And then if you do 1 1 2014, it will have nothing because guess what? December 31st is the end of my particular list. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this will help you clear up some of your uh, VLOOKUP errors. This workbook will be available for download, so look in the video description for the uh, Dropbox download link. And thanks for watching again. God bless you.